blessing to know that someone's listening and getting fed from online. Amen. Just one person's life can is all I ask for. That life will be changed from what we're doing. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because if we can change one life, that's right. Then our living is not in vain. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If we can help somebody along our way, our living is not in vain. Praise the Lord. It's a blessing to be able to live for the Lord. Amen. It's a blessing to be able to be one of his messengers and talk about his goodness and his mercy. And you can never get tired of talking about his mercy. Amen. Praise God. His mercy is lasts all a long time. Praise the Lord. And uh, we just thank God for that knowing his word and applying it to our own lives is not enough just knowing the word many people know the word but they're not applying the word faith can never come unless you put in action what your ears have heard Amen. And I ask and read. Because the Bible said faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Amen. Not by what you have heard, but what you are hearing on a daily basis. That's right. There's a lot of things that I, uh, I've done over the past years and I have not been able to retain everything that I've done. Uh, read and heard as well as you. Is that's that right? right? That's Amen. right. But when you hear it over and over again, it begins to settle into your cranial cavity and goes into your heart. Amen. That's right. The Bible says, Thy word have I hidden in my heart. Is that right? Amen. That I may not sin against you. The word's got to be in that heart. The Bible declares that except you abide in the ship, you can't be saved. Amen. Is that right? Amen. And when you abide in the word and the word abides in you, you can ask anything you want from God. Amen. And it'll happen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I've heard a lot of scriptures over my life, and I've, I've been around a few days. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Just a few. Praise the Lord. And I retain a lot of things, but what I retain most and receive and it sticks to me is words that applies that I can use effectively in my life. Praise the Lord. And that's the way it should be about you. Is that right? Amen. 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 We can hear good sermons. Hear, rejoice, and shout about it. But are we really hearing it to get some effect from it? Are we just here to be entertained? Praise the Lord. As I go around and visit people and see some of their lives and and how they have done this and done that over the years. But when the rubber meets the road, when you gotta use what you've heard, are you really applying it? I started talking about today about I talked last time about the power of faith, I think is that right? Amen. I was gonna talk about weak faith. <coughs> praise the Lord. Weak faith. 
But then that word just kept coming to me about the 23rd Psalm, that sixth verse, about his goodness and his mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's go to that scripture right now. I quoted it, but I need to read it again and, and see some more truth in it. All is going to tie in with faith. Because anything you talk about word is faith. Amen. Faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I hope you never get tired of hearing about faith. But when you get tired of hearing about faith, you get tired of hearing about God. Amen. 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 People say, I've already heard that before. I've already heard about God before too. But God's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen. Amen. And anything that evolves in this world which we live in, it's by faith. Amen. If you're going to get any results, any contact with God, you got to learn something about His Word. That's right. That He is a rewarder of those that diligently seek Him. Those that are sincere about serving Him. He will come post haste and take care of them. Amen. Praise the Lord. Is that right? Amen. 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 Now we talk about third, 23rd Psalms and they use this particular Psalms in, in the funerals and what have But it's not a funeral sermon. It's not a funeral scripture. That's right. It's a good scripture. And knowing that the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He's making me lie down in green pastures. He leaves me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He lead me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares the table for me, my presence and my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil, and my cup run it over. Surely, surely, surely. If the all was said and done, surely, goodness and mercy. Surely that knowing that God is, the Lord is my, my shepherd, Shepherd leads his people. A shepherd protects his people. Amen. Amen. I shall not be want. We sang the song today. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Uh -huh. Nor a seed begging bread. Praise him. No matter how low we got, we never bread beg for bread. Amen. Because God always took care of always. us. Always. God always had a ram in the yes. bush. Always had someone always. there they touch base with and say, Go help my people. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's why I keep saying all the time that whatever they had done in the Old Testament, hey, it's nothing new. That's right. God still does the same thing for us. Amen. If he can use a raven to go and feed his prophet, why can't he do something with you? Amen. Praise the Lord. People no one counts worthy. God uses them to protect you. Amen. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And praise the Lord, look at He making me lie down in green pastures and leave me beside the still water and restore my soul. When I my soul seemed like it's so down. Amen. Praise the Lord. Nothing seems to go right. God restores my soul. Praise Him. He restores your soul. And somebody must be listening, and somebody's soul must need to be restored today. Amen. Maybe here or on watching TV, praise the Lord, or online. Restore, he renews you, gives you strength so you can go on. Uh -huh. No matter what the turmoil is going on in life, we've got a lot of things that we got to adjust to and combat against. It only takes God. Only God can restore your soul. Amen. Some people want their soul to restore through all this drugs and what have you, or alcohol and what have you. That's not where your soul gets restored at. Amen. That's a false security. Amen. Amen. It may numb the pain, but the pain's going to come back. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. People look for false security and look at all this stuff. They, they want to buy a new car, a new house, or new clothes. And this is false security. It numbs the pain. That's right. But still, you got to come off of it, come back to reality. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I heard about an individual spending so many millions of dollars on clothes and what have you. 
and get their guns off of that. And had a good feeling over it. But when the dead settle, they're not having peace in their lives. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will no fear no evil for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. God is there to comfort you no matter what you're going through. Amen. That's right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Give you strength when you're having sad times, when you're losing your loved ones. Ecclesiastic talks about that. There's a time and a season for everything. Amen. Time now for some to be sad. And others are glad. Not a glad about what they lost, but others are glad because they got victory over something. Amen. Sadness don't last forever. That's right. That too will pass. Amen. The pain that you're going through will, will supersede and it will last in only a few days. But joy will come. Amen. And God will console them and give them the strength that they need. How do I know? I know all about pain. Amen. As well as you. You've been in life any time you know about pain. That's right. Pain is not good for you. I don't care who says it is. Amen. I read somebody's thing that said pain was good for you. I ain't never seen how pain was good for me. Amen. I used to know an individual who says she likes patience. She likes going through trials and tribulations. I don't know what's going on. Something's messed up. Something is not together. I used to call it some bricks are not completely molded correctly in the fall. <clears throat> praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. No one likes pain. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I don't like problems. I like solutions. Amen. But I know if I go through a problem, I got someone that can help me go through it successfully. Praise the Lord. Is that right? Amen. Amen. God doesn't prepare a table for you present of the enemy. You know, you got a lot of people nowadays. I'm just talking a little bit. Amen. You know, it's come time you start to start talking to people and letting them know what's going on. Stop trying to entertain them. That's right. So they can use something to go on with the week ahead of them because they're going through some trials and tribulations. We're going through right. times now that we better know God. Amen. Amen. We gotta make it plain. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Hey, this book is relevant to us in 2018. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's not something that happened way back when. It's real today. For he is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen. Amen. What he did for those. All you got to do is go back and read a bit in the Old Testament and see how God took care of those people. That's right. They went through some trials. That's right. Every day was not a happy day. That's right. Praise the Lord. Is that right? Amen. The children of Israel had to go through for 400 years because of their disobedience. Praise the Lord. Not being able to appreciate where they were at. What they had going for them. So it is true about us today. We don't appreciate what we have. We always look over on the side of the fence. And see what someone else has. I'm tired of looking on that side of the strain your eyes. Is that right? Amen. 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 Get your own. My grandpa used to tell us all this stuff, all that all the time. He used to be my, my second pastor, my grandfather. He always said this. He was a teacher. Amen. Praise the Lord. He was not a uh, teacher that was very excited, you know, get excited. He just read the word. Amen. Praise the Lord. He said, you get a patient ready to control. Amen. And stick with it. They will come and they will go. If you stay on your pace, you'll be there. Praise Amen. Lord. I learned a lot about that. A lot of people got saved the same time I did. And they went and they left. I think there's only one person that got saved the same time I did. She's about 80-something years old now. Amen. I was in my 20s and she was in her 40s. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're the only two. And the people around us, they ran circles around. Oh, I mean, they shout all over that church. Oh, man. I wasn't shouting like it at all. What's going on here? <laughs> and I've been, I grew up in the church where they shout. A shouting church. Amen. When they roll over benches and what happened. Right. I never rolled over no benches. Amen. I bust a few altars. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to dance. Praise the Lord. Bust that one man's altar over not too far from here. Amen. Getting time to time. Just go for the city and we used to have our little meetings of young people's meetings. And they had uh, one of those uh, fans up in the air. Raise our hands up and 
shouting, the Lord, I'm glad the Lord was with us because I hit that blade up there and couldn't cut my fingers off. But because God protected me, I was all right. When you're dancing in the spirit, God gonna protect you. Amen. You're not gonna get hurt. Praise the Lord. Only those that get hurt are not dancing in the spirit to show and tell. That's when I get hurt. Well, hey man, I know amen. you have seen some of that. You saw I show and tell people. Praise the Lord. But what am I saying here? I'm saying a whole lot here about uh, this year, the Lord, how he does bless his people. Getting down to that, praise the Lord. Uh, thou prepares a tape for me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with Lord. God will bless you right in the midst of your enemies. That's right. It's good to hear these things over and over again. I heard that before. Yeah, you hear it? And I'm going to say it again. Praise the Lord. They're in the midst of your enemies. When they're trying to set up a, a play against you, God going to deal with them. Praise the Lord. Yes, He can. Yes, He will. And yes, He will. Praise the Lord. Amen. They all Any kind of weapon formed against you will not prosper. Amen. 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 You just take it easy. Trust in God. And God will take care of the rest. Amen. And do what's right. Amen. Then you can go with the scripture that says, Surely goodness and mercy. Mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. This scripture in the ancient near the Eastern culture, at a feast it was accustomed to anoint a person with fragrance of oil. Hosts were also expected to protect their guests at all costs. God offered the protection of the host, even when the enemies surround them. In the final scenes of this Psalms, we see that believers were dwelling in with God. The perfect shepherd of hosts promised to guide and protect us through outlines to bring us into his house forever. And that's what God has promised to do for us. Amen. While we're going through, or where we go, we got God's protecting us around us. Amen. Amen. I used to talk about, uh, was that a hammer and I can't touch this? As long as you're in God's will, can't nobody touch you. Praise the Lord. Amen. I believe that. Amen. I was at work the other day and some character come over about two or three o'clock in the morning. The enemy likes to come out in the middle of the night. Amen. That's where he does his deeds at a lot of time. He does it any time, but a lot of time in the middle of the night. Around about midnight. After midnight. I like that story in the Old Testament about Paul and Silas. Is that right? Amen. Amen. How about midnight? God came by. Touched bases with them. But stick a point right that. I'm telling about this guy over there. Please. Coming around radically and driving, looking crazy and what have you. I keep the lights off, but just a small light on so I can see everything. We all see in our gods looking from to and fro. Praise the Lord. And just me and the Lord just talking, having a good session. And uh, so God got to come by the other way. I get most of them talking about God. So y'all got to watch that. Praise the Lord. That's just me. <coughs> but how God protect me in the middle of it and knowing that what happened, I didn't know about that day. Uh, they laid the guy off because he was acting stupid in the place. You know, a lot of these guys want to take your revenge. Uh-huh. And what happened? And I didn't know nothing about it. They didn't tell me nothing about it. Somebody don't tell you squat about nothing. If you're not in God's hand, That's right. you don't know what's going on. Amen. Amen. But if you're in God's hand, God can always protect Amen. you. Is that right? Amen. And he come back three times, three the, the, what different ways, from, from the east to south, east to west, come back around, stop, whatever. So check this character out. They got a button over there, I'm supposed to push when I, I get anything half crazy. So, but I don't know if it works or not. I don't care really because I got God with me and I got my phone by my side too. You say you got to use common sense as well as uh, right. use your faith. And this guy come back three different times. I said, what the going on? I said, I found the last time he came, he just went on through. He just got tired. He was contemplating what he was going to do. I knew what I was going to do. Praise the Lord. And I asked him, 
the guy that came on, the captain came on. I said, what's going on? I don't see any guy come by here. Act stupid. Here's what they tell me you do. You go out and start talking to them. Are you crazy? <laughs> Let me put this little black term on. Is you crazy? <laughs> You know what? Hey, unless you come down to my door and try to break in, that's in him and I don't have to talk to you. Other than that, I'm no hero. Amen. I'm no shero. Amen. I'm on God's road, and God will protect. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. And so he told me the story about what happened, and I said, "Well, mercy of God, surely goodness and mercy follows me all the yes. days of my life." Yes. See, God knows Amen. how to protect you. Praise the Lord. Is that right? Amen. I know he can. Praise the Lord. I don't have to for no one come from Timbuktu to tell me. I know what God has done Amen. for me and what he is doing for me right now. Amen. If I stay in his will, he's going to take care of me. Praise the Lord. I know that's right. What about you? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I know this. So the Bible, the, the scripture says here, the, the commentary says here, <coughs> the perfect shepherd of hosts promised to guide and protect us throughout our life and to bring us into his house forever. I want to be in his house forever. Amen. When I see others going on the sea, I want to stay in God's will forever. Amen. So that I can go and see what the end is going to be. Praise the Lord. I know at the end it's going to be a good thing for me. Uh, I remember when Jesus was telling one of his disciples to see him on the road, the man said, wasn't it good that the Lord walked with us? Did not our hearts burn? Our hearts will burn even more when we get to heaven. Amen. 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 Heaven is the place I want to go. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to see my loved ones, but most of all, I want to see Jesus. Amen. I want to see the man who set me free. Praise the Lord. I want to see my mansion up there. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I got me a little shack down here, but I want to see my mansion up Praise there. Praise God. Hey, my ain't got a shack. I got a nice house. But, you know, I know my house will be better in heaven. Praise the Lord. And your house will be better in heaven. If we live right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Is that right? Amen. Praise the Lord. So the Bible is dealing with us about this mercy. <coughs> Surely, goodness and mercy. I wanted to check my other Bibles out on that word, surely. And mercy, see what's the more stronger terms for it. Amen. Because uh, God is, is very sincere about what he's saying. Amen. He's very he, he's very unique what he says and he means something. He means what he says and says what he means. Amen. Is that right? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. In the very different translation, they have a they have a little different fling to it, but it means the same thing. And sometimes it drives even home more than others do. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. <clears throat> and I like that. Praise the Lord. Uh, if he would tell me a little more about. It. Uh, in the uh, Limburg says the, the, your goodness unfailing kindness shall be with me all of my life your goodness and unfailing kindness unfailing you know some people are, are they kind of mess with you and they don't really care to, I mean it depends on how they act they think in life sometimes they treat you right and sometimes they want I got some of those people of weather folk that I come in contact quite a bit with weather folk. You don't know which way to take it. Almost like the individual said one time that before he went in his house, his home, he always threw his head in <laughs> to see how things were in there before he walked in. That's getting pretty bad when you got to throw your head in to see whether they're all is well. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that's the way some people are when you go to work. They just, they, they sometimes, they may yeah. speak, they may not speak, they may yeah. frown, they may look at you crazy. Praise the Lord. But, I, you know, I care less when they look at it. I'm going there to work. I'm not there to make friends. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to treat people right, but I want to be right with myself. Amen. Because God is account, how, holding me accountable on how I treat people. That's right. Not how they treat me. Amen. Amen. And they don't deserve the kindness I give them. That kindness will come back around for me. Amen. Amen. That's Bible. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I know that's right. Praise the Lord. But the, the Bible is, is good, but it tells me, praise the Lord. The, 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 thou preparest a table for me in the presence of my enemies, and thou anointed my head with oil, and my cup run over. This is the standard Bible. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Surely goodness and mercy. 
surely goodness and mercy, surely goodness and mercy, surely goodness and mercy. God's always got something. And I talk about the 11 verse says, His goodness and unfailing kindness shall be with me all the days of my life. Praise the Lord. I like it. Goodness and unfailing kindness. Not just kindness, but unfailing kindness. Meaning the kindness is not going to dissipate. Amen. It's going to be there all the time. Amen. I want people to befriend me all the time, not sometimes. Amen. Be the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. That's what my father is. Amen. 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 The Lord Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. When I get stupid and ignorant, he still loves me anyway. Amen. He still to treat me right. I try to do that with my own life and with my family too, but you know, I try to treat them right. Amen. Because I want them to treat me right. Amen. I'm getting matured in age. And I want them to treat me right when I get older. Amen. Praise the Lord. But if I do the right seed now, they'll take care of me later if I need to take care of them. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Whether I live to be 100 or, or 95 years old, I still, I still want to be right. Amen. Is that right? Amen. I don't want to live to be an old man, ground, grunchy, and what have you. I want to check myself and keep myself together. And I believe that we, as people of God, do that, we'll be all right. Amen. Amen. Some people don't want to be around people that are old. That's right. They call it an old man. One guy said, the old man, he needs to be in somebody's rest home. Anybody will tell me to get him a rest home. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. I'll go there when I need to go there. If I have to go, I'm glad I'm going there. Amen. Amen. I'm glad to take care of myself till I leave this world. Praise the Lord. All right, what y'all do is just take, look at the in on me every now and then. Well. I'll fix my own potatoes, you know, well. my own greens, yeah. what have you. I have a little car, a little small car to drive around, put around. Let give me a mile eight car so I can put. <laughs> Won't do no fast drive, just put, put yeah. around. Praise the Lord. Is that right? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Y'all so y'all know what that's going to happen to me. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's go to some more scriptures here. We got to get some more scriptures in here. Uh, go to Psalms 25, 26, Psalms 25, 6, 7, and 10th verse. Amen. In Psalm 25 and 6 verses, Remember, O Lord, your compassion, your unfailing love, which you have shown from a long age past. Do not remember the rebellious sins of my youth. Remember me in the light of your unfailing love, your mercy, O Lord. You are a merciful God. Then the 10th verse says, Lord, lead me with unfailing love and faithfulness all who keep the Lord lead with unfailing love and faithfulness, all who keep his covenant and obey his demands. This is a writing of Psalms of David. It's a prayer that def for defense, guidance, and pardon. As we trust in God, he grants these same quests for us. God wants us to, God wants to take care of us. And all we got to do is say, Lord, remember, O oh Lord, your compassion and your unfailing love. It's good to know what God has done for those in days of old. So we tell Lord, remember me. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want him to remember me. Don't remember Amen. what someone else done. Remember me. This is a personal salvation. Right. Amen. And when I'm fighting my battle of life with different kinds of sickness, illness, I want the Lord to remember me. Remember my faithfulness. Amen. What I've said and done, how I believe that faith does come by hearing and hearing the word of God. And that I exercise my faith, faith on small things. Remember me. <clears throat> Hezekiah was a man that told the Lord, he turned his face to the wall when he got the bad report. God uh, began to talk to God about what has happened in his life. God knew exactly what happened, but God wants you to bring back to his remembrance Amen. what he's done. Yes. Amen. And what he'll do for you. And when he turned his face to the wall, God extended his life. Amen. Amen, praise the Lord. And if God did to him, why can't he do it to you? Amen. Amen. Don't tell me what someone else did and they didn't work. I don't care what didn't work for them. I know what's going to work for me. Amen. That, 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 that sticks up in my crawl there about how people talk about what God can't do for you. Because what he did for them, you know, they didn't work for me. So I know it ain't working. I don't care what didn't work for you. I'm going to fight, as one guy says, to the end. Amen. 
Amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to keep on swinging till the end. Amen. I'm going to go down swinging. Amen. Amen. The devil's crazy and he's an enemy of us. Amen. He's trying to defeat Amen. us. Amen. But it's up to us to show him that we're more than a conqueror. Praise him. That it is written yes. in the Word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. I know that's right. Praise Amen. the Lord. So the Bible says this. Look what it says. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Remember, O oh Lord, your compassion. And you're fell in love. And then I, as I look and read about in the, uh, the gospel, how he was compassionate <coughs> with people. Amen. Praise the Lord. He was compassionate to the point where he was moved with compassion when people come. There was their children were, were dead or dying. He was moved with compassion to heal them and deliver them. The woman had the issue of blood. Tried to use all her money. Nothing worked. But she heard about Jesus. I ain't healed the sick, set them free. And she made that statement if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I'll be made whole. She believed that and stood on it. Way through the crowd. Sometimes you gotta you gotta fight. You got to fight the good fight of faith. Amen. Amen. We're talking about faith, praise the Lord. Also, the good fight of faith. You got to wade through the crowds. All that negative report that's saying you can't. But you got to say, I can't. Amen. Praise the Lord. They're talking about this place. I'm going to leave that alone. <clears throat> I was going down this one place, praise the Lord, but I'll be there in town. <laughs> Amen. I'll be there until. Amen. I'll be there until. Praise the Lord. Amen. Until God said it's time to go. I'll leave the place there. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I don't care what's saying. Hey, I'm there. Solomon Gore was messed up, weren't he? Uh huh. And he didn't let that place be destroyed until he got people out of it. Amen. Amen. And long as I'm down there, ain't nothing going to happen. Praise the Lord. You should say the same thing about yourself. Amen. In your neighborhood, on your job, uh -huh. in your community. Nothing's gonna come down wrong. God gonna take care of us. Amen. Man. I'm not care I'm not worried about what's going on in this economy Praise and what Lord. have you Praise in this situation. God's gonna take care of God me. I've seen it happen before and I've Amen. seen it happen again. Amen. 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 Because goodness and mercy have followed me all the days of my life. Why? Because I please him. And then God said, if, my, if a man's ways please him, then make an enemy be at peace with him. <clears throat> Is that right? Amen. You gotta put the word on. That's why you put the word on the devil. Amen. You put the word back on him, and God will honor the word because it's as if God was speaking that word Amen. to that individual or that situation. I know that's right. Amen. Praise the Lord. So if nobody believes it, I'm gonna believe it. If I gotta stand alone, I'm standing alone. Amen. I know I ain't standing alone. That, that one prophet thought he was the only one living right. One guy told me that here in Mexico. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Only about two families that live really living right in Mexico. I said, this man is it. Uh, listen to him talk. <laughs> you gotta listen to people when he talk with him and noise like that. Amen. He said, you, 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 you and your wife and, and, and my, me and my wife, we, we don't want to live right here. I said, man, you sound ignorant. I'm saying to myself, you sound so ignorant. <laughs> but I use that other term, ignorant. Praise the Lord. You don't say, think that you the only one that's living right. That's self-centered. That's, self that's Pharisee and scribe mess going on. Uh -huh. that's right. It's got to be someone's living right. They may not worship like you worship. That's all part of that weak in faith that I was going to talk about today, about people that are weak in faith. Amen. People can't stand nothing. Amen. They can't stand nothing. You eat meat and they can't eat meat. And they'll, you know, in your case, because, because you you don't eat meat. Or you eat meat and they don't. They call it, I was reading this, 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 this lesson about it. And it's telling about when you just vessel, you call it, you got the weak, you weak people. You ain't weak. Right. You listen, look at the Old Testament. They didn't, they didn't eat a whole lot of meat. Right. Praise the Lord. The meat that we eat, Amen. and they still was healthy. Amen. And then the Bible says, if meat offends you, I won't eat 
meat grow around you. I'll save my pork chops till later. <laughs> <laughs> my greens later. Well. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. But if it offends you, I won't eat meat around you. I'll wait till you leave and I'll get my cornbread out well. with you. I'll be all right. Amen. But weak people like they, they can't stand nothing. But I know goodness and mercy is going to follow me all days of my life. You know, that don't mean you're going to go to hell because you uh, you eat meat. That's right. Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. I mean, we got so much junk. I ain't never talk, I ain't never hit the tip of all that junk. That stuff. But, uh, see, I tend to take the high road here, and then when after this incident, I start talking about different things. I know how to get hard. I've been around hard preachers. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I chose not to be that way. Amen. 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 Compassion. Amen. Jesus moved in past. He was condemnatory. That's right. I've been Amen. around condemnatory people. Amen. Amen. It doesn't work that way. That's God right. doesn't move that way. That's right. Skewer people skewered to come out in the front yard. They don't want to come to church tonight. They sit in the backyard. Amen. <laughs> That's your yard. You sit where you want to sit. Amen. You know, condemn. You just put your head like one guy did, like one woman at one place. You got callers, call all kind of names. She took it in here. Get her head back like that. Hit the door. Boy, he said, I just like the folk. <laughs> <laughs> that woman said, she said she didn't really care about that cat. I'll tell you some real stories. I ain't heard half my stories. <laughs> I mean, I, like I told you, I've been around a while. Praise the Lord. But the Bible says here, praise the Lord, that the Lord leadeth us with unfailing and, and love and faithfulness. I, you know, I can really say today that God's been faithful to me. Amen. Ever since I've been over Mexico, I've learned more about it from Mexico than I did from today. You know why? Because it was pressed up on me. <laughs> I learned more about how the devil moves. Amen. How the devil works. Not because of this town here, but see the devil, he'll mess with you when you're not around your immediate familiarity. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. And you gotta depend totally on God for survival. Amen. I had a good job back where I was at. So I had to fight, the good fight of faith to get something over here to sustain me and my family. Amen. And it took some faith. Right. Amen. Praise the Lord. But I can say today about the goodness and mercy of God that God is faithful. He Amen. Is faithful. And God is worthy to be praised. Yes, he is. Amen. I don't want to say what somebody else told praise me. Amen. I know what God can and will yes. do for me. Praise Amen. Him. And like I said before, but about you, you've been through some things too, and you know what, what yes. God has done for you. Amen. Now you may get amnesia about what you went through because some of us people of color forget about what we came through. Amen. Amen. And don't want to have somebody else who's trying to come up. Amen. Oh, you can't. You can You got to do better than that. It took time for you to get yourself footing right. Amen. Amen. Hey, people who come to church gonna be gonna need some help. They're gonna need somebody to talk to them. They're gonna wear us out. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. It's still going to take more than one person to help them out. Amen. <coughs> praise the Lord. Is that right? Amen. Amen. But by the goodness and mercy of God, praise the Lord, surely goodness and mercy is going to follow me, going to follow them all the days of their life as well as my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God says, I got a place. I ain't talking about this place here. There's another place. This is more on brick down here, but there is a place. Praise Amen. the Lord. There is a place where yeah. only those that are pure in heart are going to be at. Only those that are going to be able to stand up and say, Lord, I fought my fight. I wait for you to take me on in. Amen. Praise the Lord. Whenever a day does come in my life, I want to be ready. What about you? Amen. Uh, Tim was talking about some people when they get to be 80 some years old, they, they want to be serious about serving the Lord. I want to be serious now. Amen. I'm not 80 yet. I've got a few years to go yet. But I want to get serious now so that Amen. I have my right mind when I reach 80 some years old. Amen. I don't want to be absent minded then or uh, have that uh, dementia. Is that what they call that? Amen. Or uh, Alzheimer. Don't even know who I am. Don't know my family at all. That's, that's living in misery and torment. Amen. You know that? Amen. That's me. Others live that way, that's up to them. But me, I want to have a sound mind when I leave. Amen. But I hear about an individual living to be over 100 years old, still has sound mind. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. I look sound mind. Amen. Living is not just living when you're just right. existing. I don't want my family had to come to me and pick me up and take me here and there. There's nothing wrong with that when you got family, good family members. I'm talking about me. I want to be able to get myself up. Or wash my own stuff. Brush my own teeth. Cook my own meals. Amen. Drive myself around. The last independent an older person has is when they lose the rights to drive their car. Mm -hmm. You know that? Amen. Hey, I experienced it with my father. Hey, Amen. That was his last right. He didn't like it. When he took the keys from him. Oh, he looked at you so pitiful. Come on, let me count. When you try to protect them because they'll hit something. Hurt themselves and somebody else. Amen. I want to get to that point where if it comes to the point where I got to let go of it, I'll let go of it. I want to be around an area where I can walk here and walk there to get to one place and next place. Or have enough stuff in my house where I don't have to walk nowhere. There's one little lady, I'm getting ready to close. Did you get anything out of this? Amen. About the goodness and mercy of God. Surely goodness and mercy. God's going to be good to you all the days of your life. Amen. Amen. There was one individual I used to work uh, as a as a deliverer person for the food. So I better call it swans. And there's one lady in this one location, she was an elderly lady. And she just she wanted to buy ice cream all the time. She just wanted me to come by her place and just visit with her. And she said, I said, what do you want today? She said, I want to eat some more ice cream. She had never finished the ice cream I had two or three weeks ago. But she wanted to come, I mean to come by and place another order so she could talk to me a few minutes. Got her little cat on me, the mantle. And that was her cup. She got the order and I said, Do you think that's about enough? Well, you know, have you eaten the rest of that stuff? Now you ain't, I ain't gonna say nothing like that. I was just happy to be in sales. It's something about me, I, I can't see posing on people. I don't care what it is. Man. I can't do that. The others can do it. Go about their business. Say, we got another little old tan person, but I'm not that way. I'm not made up that way. I wasn't Man. brought up that way. And I said, I already talked to her a little bit. You can't talk too long because they got this mess where they got you coming to this play, every section, every, all that going on. And I sit there and talk to her. And I thought about her life and I thought about mine. One day I'm going to get older. And people think this the way, they treat people right. Amen, praise the Lord. I want to treat you right so that when my time comes, somebody will treat me right. Amen. Amen. Because God does not forget. God looks on the poor. The downtrodden. Amen. He said, blessed are the poor in spirit. Where is what? The kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. Poor folk, if they live right, <laughs> come make it to heaven. And a lot of people, I see a lot of poor folks that are crazy and ignorant. They ain't going to squat. But if you live right and treat people right, God will treat you right. Amen. And God will always have someone to help you out Amen. in a time of need. This scripture, surely goodness and mercy should follow me all the days of my life. And it was all said and done. He's going to welcome me home. What about you? Amen. What about you? What about you? My Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for something was said in the Word. I hope something was said to encourage people. That you're still the same God yesterday and day before. The same God that takes care of those in days of old. You can take care of us today. And you love us, oh God cherish us. We are the apple of your eyes. You always protect us through thick and thin. We have no reason to worry because we know we got a God, a Father, a Heavenly Father who watch over us and protect us all the days of our life. You are a healer, our deliverer, our Savior. We can't make it with your help. I pray if something was said to someone who doesn't know God today, would you just bow your head and say, Father, I love your word. 
I love your son. I love your son. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. And I need to be saved. I need to be saved. Forgive me my sins. Forgive me my sins. That I may be born again. That I may be born again. Become a part of the family. I believe that Jesus died for me. Came to set me free. Set me free. And I ask you right now, let him come to my heart. And I accept him right now in Jesus right now. Can somebody say praise the Lord? Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Shake somebody's hand and say, God bless you real good.